just want to make another quick video on the house progress. You can see that since the last one, the roof trusses have all been completed, and for the most part, the galvanized roof is on. So the next thing they're going to do is level out the floor and then pour the concrete floor. Uh, you know, the, where I come from, we build the trusses and then we erect them, but here they're built up top. These guys build them from scratch at the top. They don't build them and pull them up there with ropes. Um, you can see some of the trusses are notched in different spots, and that's just to get them level because the wood's cut with a chainsaw, and it's not necessarily, you know, straight. So it's kind of labor intensive to get all this wood notched and lined up and level. And I bought them a 36 inch Stanley level, a bubble level, and they don't like it. They use a water level, and it's just water and a piece of hose, and that's what they're used to. And and it works. But you can see they're going to fill the underside of this wood with concrete, but this thing, it's not. This roof, it's never going anywhere. I mean, it's not. This is standard practice here. Tie it into the rebar just like that. So, electrician's been here doing a little work. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of slow, but we're getting there. Um, I'm, I'm pleased with the, with the quality of work. These guys do good work, and that's why I hired them. So, um, our budget, uh, in my first video I said, was about $5,500. It's going to go up a little bit. Um, it's a rainy season. The rainy season ended. Water's, water's hard to get. These guys got to go a long ways to carry water to mix this cement. Um, a long, long ways. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to take care of them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay them more to do that. And, you know, our last load of supplies came and... You can see on the top of that hill the sand and gravel and they carry this stuff a long ways to get it here and there's a lot of extra work besides you know construction work it's a lot just a labor intensive job so I'm gonna take care of them. my, my $5,500 budget oh yeah and the doors I upgraded the doors I went to solid mahogany doors and some upgraded hardware and changed a few things as far as tiles and stuff so my $5,500 budget is gonna go to about maybe $6,200 so that's pretty much a final and, and I'm happy with that but these guys do good work, and it's slowly coming together. Beautiful day in the province. I mean, it's really hot. It's a beautiful day. But, you know, a lot of, a lot of expats don't want to live in the province, in the country, and it's the only place I want to be. I mean, I guess we're all different, you know, but I feel safe here, and I feel... Uh, I feel happy when I'm here. So things are going good. And uh, once the windows are in and the doors are in, I'll, I'll make another video. But since my last one, the roof is on. And I just wanted to take a few minutes and show you that. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll just kind of pan around and then I'll end it. I appreciate you. Oh. One more thing, I, I had the guy that lives in this house over here, close to us. I paid him some money to to work on this road, to kind of straighten this road out a little bit. <laughs> Hi. Hi, baby. <laughs> kids, being kids. <laughs> Life is simple here, and it's good. It really is good. But anyways... Um, I want to be able to get my truck back here, my pickup truck. I've got a four-wheel drive truck and had him widen this road a little bit, move some rocks around and change some things so that I can at least drive down here instead of parking up there. So things are progressing nicely. Life is good. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.